What is going on YouTube? This is Dandy TCG here back with another video. Today guys, we're going to be opening up a booster box of Chaos Impact. This is the newest set to be released in the TCG and uh, looking, been looking forward to opening this set for a while now. Uh, it has cards like the Unchained, uh, which is going to be a really good uh, archetype. It's being really slept on right now, but I really think it's going to be good. Uh, it's got the Gladiator Beast cards in it, new support for them. And it's got like the Striker Dragon, which is support for Rocket cards, and then the Marinsa's support in this. So, and some Salomon Great support. But mainly, I'm just here to get the hopefully a Prismatic and the Unchained cards. So, with that, we'll go ahead and get right into this. Um, let's see if I can open this up without hurting the box. There we go. Super, super excited. This is 24 packs. And let's just jump into it I guess it's been I think this is the first time I've ever actually opened a booster box on this channel so or in general but then open the first pack see what we can get I know the ratios for these sets are uh, two secrets four ultras and then just how many supers you get per pack so we'll see we got Chobam Armor Dragon Dino Wrestler Valionix Brian Gear Salmon Great Burning Shell and a Prime Mineral Congrate. So you get that up in the camera. Pretty cool looking card, really. I think it looks pretty cool. And they see there is the new uh, Gladiator Beast support. Gladiator Beast support. This also came as an Ultra Rare at the Sneak Peek. Uh, Gladiator Beast Ves Vespasius. So super cool. I'll swap those around, put the hollows there, put the rare down here. Um, you got Marincess Wonderheart. Dances with Beasts, and Desert Locust, another slept on card. This is actually going to be really good if we ever get Needle Fiber. So, pretty decent. Um, I'm one of the guys that doesn't really care like which side I open first, so. Uh, we got Cauldron of the Old Man, Tachyon Spiral Galaxy, Protocol Gardena, Marincia Sea Angel, and a Phantasos, the Dream Mirror Foe. Really cool Dream Mirror stuff in this. It's really cool, really cool archetype in this. I think it's really gonna be really cool. And there we go, we have our first Unchained. We have Unchained Twins Aruha. Basically probably the best card in the deck. This card also comes as a Prismatic Secret, so hopefully we can get that. Um, Gladiator Namachia, I don't know how to pronounce that if I didn't butcher it. Uh, World Legacy World Key, and yeah, I forgot, Air Mage support. Really good cards to help make this deck somewhat viable, hopefully in this meta. Really cool card, Aramage Marjoram. So, uh, it's two packs in. Uh, let's see. Here. Need to start with the trash over here. All right, we have Bye Bye Damage, Gladiator Beast Comeback, Watt Train, and a Aroma Seraphie Sweet Marjoram. Pretty cool. That's actually the. I think that's the really good synchro that we really needed for the set. So it's really good. Uh, we have Tyrant Farm for a rare. Marin says Snow. Yes, Snow. Escape of the Unchained, another Unchained card. World Legacy, World Key. And a Marin says Wonderheart. So far, decent cards, I guess. I'm more excited about the Unchained Ruha than anything. Wish I would have pulled that as a Prismatic, but we'll see what else we can get here. All right, fourth pack. Prime Mineral Manstrong. Uh, Abominable Chamber of the Unchained. DD Patrol Plane. And, ooh, here we got another Gladiator support card. Test Panther. Really cool, really, really cool. Ultra Rare, that's our first Ultra Rare. And I think we're gonna go ahead and sleeve that up in our Hypermat sleeves, white. Really cool card. I actually really like that artwork. So I can get that one. Yeah, really cool card. And then for our rare, we got Hop Here Squadron, Dance with Beast, Galactic Spiral Dragon, Dino Wrestler Marshall Ampelio, and Bayonator the Baneful Barrel. Hmm. A lot of interesting names in this stuff. Oops. Next pack. All right, we have, oh wow, an Evil Tile card. Haven't seen Evil Tiles in a really long time. I think it was Photon Shockwave. 
was when they first were released. Cool. I haven't seen one of those in a while. Evotile Mega Chirella. Or I don't know if I probably butchered that. Uh, Crusher Run. This is, I think this is Infinitrack support. So that's cool. Yeah. There it is. Infinitrack. I think, yeah, that's actually the card that's on the front. Yeah. Infinitrack Brutal Dozer. Cool. I think they're really cool looking cards. Uh, Primineral Mandestrong and Evil Eye of Gorgoneo. Okay. This is a cool super. Nebula Dragon for a rare. Uh, Soul Levy. Desert Locusts. And Marincess Crown Tail. I think it's the first Marincess uh, monster we've pulled out of this set so far, I think. I'm not really sure. There we go. Next pack. We have a Watt Train. Marin says Sea Angel. Oh no, I pulled plenty of those actually. Never mind. Chobram Armor Dragon. Abominable Chamber of the Unchained. And another Phantasos, the Dream Mirror Foe. Okay, there we go. A, another Gladiator Beast card. Gladiator Beast Sagittari. Really cool. So it's named after Sagittarius. The thing. Okay. Uh, Prometeor, the Burning Star. Another Bayonator. And another Gladiator, Namachia. Next pack. Come on, Prismatics. Really would love to have one of those. Uh, Cauldron of the Old Man. Marantes Cascade. Watt Train. And a Dream Mirror Hypnagogia. Cool. Uh, Nebula Dragon. World Legacy World Key. Marantes Battle Ocean. Wonder Heart. And Bonds Alone. Okay. We have Action Magic Double Banking, uh, Suppression Collider, Dream Mirror of Chaos, and a Bounty for our next Ultra Rare. Okay. I don't know if this card's going to be any good. If you're attacking monster destroys the opponent's monster by battle, target one card in your graveyard, add to your hand. But for the rest of this turn, you cannot activate cards or the effects of the card with the name, same name of, as the added card had once and it was in your hand. I don't... I don't know how well that's going to be good in some decks, but okay. Uh, then we got Gladiator Beast Torix. Uh, that's the other Gladiator Beast card that they really kind of needed. Kind of helps out with some stuff. Uh, Gladys Galactic Spiral Dragon, Dance of the Beast, another Desert Locust, and Prometeor. Okay, so we've already got two of our Ultra Rares down. And next, we have Watt Train, Gladiator Beast Comeback. Infantrack Brutal Dozer, uh, Action Magic Double Banking, and awesome, we got a Marincess Blue Tang, uh, which I'm pretty sure at the time of recording this right now is a $34 card. So that's really awesome. That's a really nice super secret rare. Really, really nice. I like that. And it's like the card, Marincess is really needed to be like a rogue deck in the format. And then you got Marincess Mandarin. Oh, no, that's a rare. Let's go over here. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to fix everything. Another Bayonetta. Aroma Gardening. If you normal summon, normal special summon Aroma Monster, you can gain a thousand life points. Ooh. When your opponent declares attack. When your life points are lower than your opponent's, you can switch some little room also from your deck. Oh, wow, that's really good. It's really good for rooms. And then there's another Battle Ocean. That's actually a really good card for Aromas. The Aromages. Might see me build those here soon. All right, then we got a Mimikuro, uh, Brian Gear, Marinsus Cascade, and a, another Prime Mineral Congrate. Blessed Winds, that's another one that the Aromages needed. Marinsa Snow, Boom Pauline. After this card by choosing one unused monster zone, if an effect monster is special summoned, it has them return both the monster in that zone to, and this card to the hand. Oh, wow. That's actually probably going to be really good. Princess Battle Ocean and an Action Magic full turn. Oh, cool. That's another Action Magic card. Okay. We have an Infinitrack Brutal Dozer. Primal Mandestrong, Dynarester Valionics, 
a Arrow Mage Laurel. Um, that's another really good. Let's see. If your life points are higher than your opponents, you can special summon this card from your hand. Oh, wow. Gain life points, target one non tuner plant monster, and on the field, it is treated as a tuner this turn. Okay, so that's actually really good. And then we have Abominations Prison. Oh, that's so beautiful. Look at that artwork. Oh, that's so beautiful. And I'm pretty sure this is in a pretty expensive secret rare as well for this set. Wow, that's both of our secrets for the set, so that's actually really good. Really, really good. Really good secrets for that. That's actually that actually makes me really happy. Uh, we got Dream Mirror on your I don't even know how to say that. Marin says Crown Tail, World Legacy, and Astra Ghouls. Oh, it's so beautiful. Wow. Super pumped to be pulling that. Matt is going to be very pleased. So we have next pack. Come on. Come on. There we go. Uh, Gladiator Beast Comeback. Fan Track Brutal Dozer. Action Magic Double Banking. And a Fantasos the Dream Mirror Friend. I've been seeing a bunch of people opening these packs and boxes and stuff, and they call him Fiend. It is Friend. You can see right there, it says Friend, not Fiend. Uh, we got Brutal Beast Battle, Desert Logos, Full Turn, Namachia, and uh, World Legacy, World Key. I blanked on that. We have another Evil Tile, Bye Bye Damage, Watt Train, Glad Air Beast Comeback, and a Marincess Crystal Heart. Really cool. Uh, Spiritual Entanglement, what's this do? Target one face up monster your opponent controls, banish it until the end phase. You can only activate one spiritual entanglement. Okay, that's not bad. It's able to get around Orcists. That's actually a really good card. People might side that against Orcist. Get around in Gearsu. I might actually side that against Matthew. <laughs> Alright. Next pack. I think I don't know how many more we have left. Pulled a decent amount here already. Primal Mandestrong, Summon Great Burning Shell, Suppression Collider, Crusher Run, and another Marincess Crystal Heart. Okay. And a Gladiator Beast Sagittari. Legacy, Luna the Dark Spirit. This is actually a really cool card, I think. Cannot be normal summoned or set. Must first be special summoned from your hand by banishing one Dark Monster from your graveyard. Once per turn during your standby phase, inflict 500 damage to your opponent. It's 1600, so it's not... It's not the best, but it's not the worst. It can actually be played in a couple of Fiend decks like Unchained and Burning Abyss. It's a good way to burn for, like, it's not really burning for uh, for game, but uh, with a new time, with that time rule that they put in, it's actually a decent way to win. Because if you get called time on your turn and during your stamina phase, that's an easy way to be able to get the game win. All right, we got DD Patrol Plane. Double Banking, Cauldron of the Old Man. Ooh, Draco Berserker of the Ten Yi. Another Ultra Rare. Really cool. I love this artwork. I'm going to be looking into these cards and trying to build a deck on the Ten Yi. Really, really cool artwork on him. So that's our third Ultra Rare. Uh, Glare Beast United. There's another Luna. So a really good card, I think, to have. Astragal, Soul Levy, and Aroma Gardening. Let's see about this Draco Berserker. I think he's just really, really cool. All right, we have enough room for one more ultra rare. We're going to sleeve up this bounty. And I really hope it's Striker Dragon. I really, really need that to be able to finish my uh, rocket deck so I can get you guys a profile on that. Well, I'm trying to stack up my supers. It's being difficult. Rares up here with them. Showcase these. So we have, I think, like eight packs left. So we've already pulled both of our secrets and three of our ultras. So I don't know. We'll see what we can get. Uh, Action Magic Double Banking, Suppression Collider, Dream Mirror of Chaos, Choban Armor Dragon, and ooh, we have the new Gladiator Beast Fusion Domitianus. Really cool, it's the, it's the fusion using uh, Vespasius. He's actually gonna be probably their newest boss monster. He's really cool looking. Like, I'm actually, oh, there's an Overburst Dragon. I actually need this for my rocket deck. 
Cool. I'm going to actually sleeve up uh, Double Tannis because he actually looks really cool. Using our KMC, uh, what are they called? Hyper Matte Mini Sleeves. There we go. Really cool super, I think, in my opinion. I just think he looks really cool. I've been wanting to get some, I've been thinking about building gladiators again. I think he's a really cool super. But, all right, we got Primeval Amanda Strong, Salmon Great Burning Shell, Suppression Collider, and a Gallant Granite as our last Ultra Rare. Really, really good card. This is your Nibiru Searcher, basically. Has two level four monsters, a generic 2300 attack XYZ, two level four monsters. Uh, you can detach one material from this card to activate one of these effects. Add one rock monster from your deck to your hand. So that's Nibiru. And then, special, and then you can also, uh, the next effect is special summon one rock, rock monster from your hand and face down defense position, which you won't be using. You'll just be using the Nibiru search. So that's actually a really cool uh, ultra to get. I'm bummed because that's not my Striker Dragon, so. But still, I've actually pulled really good cards. Really wish that bounty wasn't what I pulled, though. But Monster Express as a rare. And another Marjoram, Soul Levy, and Desert Locust. And there's this Crown Tail. We got a lot of packs in, so I guess we're just going to be pulling a lot of supers. How many packs do we have? We've got one, two, three. We've got seven packs left. Wow. That's actually a lot of packs left just to pull supers. If we can get a prismatic out of this box, that'd be amazing. All right, we got Rinse a Sea Angel, Bye Bye Damage, Protocol Gardener, Attacking on Spiral Dragon, and there's the Dream Mirror uh, fusion that they just got. I don't know how well this is going to work because I don't know much about the Dream Mirror cards, but we'll see how well it does with them. Uh, then we got Overburst Dragon, Seraphim Papillion. Hmm. Seems like we haven't pulled yet. All right, we got Crusher Run, Rinse of Sea Angel, Bye Bye Damage, and another uh, Oniris, Sky Beast of Taurus, that's a rare. Uh, and just comments that we've already seen. Uh, what am I looking for here? I need more of the Arujas, or just the Unchained Rares in general. Which we'll I get those. All right. Bombo Chamber of the Unchained, Mimikuro, Image Laurel, Brian Gear, and oh cool, Gizmek Yada. And there we go, Unchained Twin uh, Rakea asking you shall receive. Uh, Gizmek Yada is actually going to be a really cool card for Cyber Dragons. Uh, it's actually going to work out really well with them. And then we have Unchained Twins Rakea. Really cool cards. I really like the, the fact that these guys are all fiends and they're all different rarities. I think that's really, really cool. Uh, I got Marincis Wonderheart, Desert Locust, and a Bonds Alone. I don't know if that's what they meant to say, but we got four packs left. That one almost looked like it was already cut open. That's weird. Uh, Protocol Gardener, Tagging on Spiral Dragon, Orange Laurel, and a Gorgon, Empress of the Evil Eyed. So I'm pretty sure we won't be getting a Prismatic this set then. Blessed Winds, Aroma Gardening, Battle of the Shingle Legacy, and another Luna. So we have a play set of these. So that's actually really cool to have. Um, what was that spell that we just saw? Uh, the Spiritual Entanglement. I actually want to see more of that card. So. I'd like to get another one of those. But I'd actually rather take the Enchanted cards. Alright, we got Tachyon Spiral Galaxy, Protocol Gardener, Sea Angel, and another Gizmek Yada. So I'll take that. That's actually really good. And there you go. Another Ask If You Shall Receive, the Spiritual Entanglement. So that's actually really cool. Uh, Marjoram, I think that's our play set of those. Uh, or reassembly. Escape of the Unchained. This is another Unchained card we haven't pulled yet. So, okay, Rakia and Aruha are the actual twins. So, really cool. I'm about to pull all these Unchained cards out and have this from that. Right. Next, we have Evil Tile, Mega Shria, Crusher Run, Finitrack, Brutal Dozer, and a Dream Mirror, Phantasms. Monster Express. Okay, last pack. I don't know if you can still pull a Prismatic after pulling your two secrets and stuff, but we'll see. Old Mind. Okay, I don't know if I pulled this or not. Look, one random card in your opponent's hand, then apply one of the following effects. Discard both both that opponent's card and one card from your hand of the same type. Monster Spell or Trap, then add this card from the field to your opponent's hand if you do draw one card. 
then okay so you apply or you can lose a thousand life points so you it's basically like anti how anti used to be um actually has the same like card ways of anti of uh, being the skull servant cards it's actually not bad you could take your opponent's hand traps if you get lucky enough uh enrage laurel deep patrol dream mirror of chaos and a peaceful burial i wanted to see this card uh, send one monster from your deck to the graveyard, but for the rest of this turn, you cannot activate cards or the effects of the of cards with the same name the sent monster had in the grave. Don't really know how well that's going to be, and I just bumped my camera, so that was it. There's another Escape of the Untamed. All right, just a little recap. We'll do, and do all of our supers. I think that's really cool. I think it's crazy that we only pulled one of the Gladiator Beast supers out of all of these. So we got Peaceful Burial, Dreamer Phantoms, another, got two Gizmec Yaldas, which I'm actually really happy about. Uh, the Gorgon, Empress of the Evil Eyed. I don't know how well they do. I don't know. Uh, Nereus, pulled those two back to back, which is crazy. Dreamer Hepmagia, Rancess Crystal Heart, two of those. Dreamer Foe, Evil Eyed Gorgoneo, Rare Jam, another Foe, Friend, Congrate, and Congrate. And then for all of our big ones, we got... We got a Bounty, Test Panther, and a Draco Berserker of the Tinny, and a Gallant Granite for our Ultras. And then for our Secrets, we pulled a Marincess Blue Tang and an Abomination's Prison. I'm not, I'm not actually upset about pulling. These are the three cards I really needed out of this. Like, actually really cool cards to have. Uh, like I said, I think at the time of recording, these both are like super expensive compared to the rest of the, the thing. And I'm not really upset about pulling these because Test Panther is actually a card you need for Gladiator Beast. And I'm thinking about building that. So that and Draco Berserker. So really cool. And and I'm happy because we pulled... I put those over here by accident. We pulled a bunch of the Unchained cards that we could like, probably need. Uh, Spirit Patrol Entanglement is actually, I think, going to be a good card. So got the Unchained Twins, Rakia. And where's he at? Put that aside. Uh, where are you at? Unchained Trent Twins Aruha. So those are actually going to be probably really good cards to have. So with that, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video and say thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like rating down below and comment what you guys think the best card out of this set is uh, and tell me why. But if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And thank you guys so much for watching. See ya.